<laughs> Thank you. But when we have, um, so normally we have the tucks on this track, yeah. and um, so I feed them up here because they'll sometimes be on this rock, and then when you get so all the beautiful. snow in the background, and oh. a really crisp, high pressure winter day, and they just stand there and they see like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, and really? then Lee is. Um, <laughs> is and they genuinely enjoy that, don't they? They genuinely yeah. get something back out of that. <laughs> You're sleepy. But the other thing is, we had to... <laughs> sorry, I just want you to stroke him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget oh. me. <laughs> you sometimes run out of arms. So you go yeah. Sleep round. Well, you don't normally. They're not no. normally like this. No. It's, um... Yeah. Right. Shall we go and find your mummies? But they will do this all. Oh. Uh, so he was the first one, and then there's another two that we'll meet further on, mm -hmm. and um, two girls, and then these. This is all our in-by land, um, so like any farm, you know, steep-sided valley, so all the nutrients will come down and your main grazing is down here. This yeah. is where it floods, so that will add more nutrition. We don't add anything to our ground, we don't fertilise, we do spread muck. Um, you don't normally see that because most of the hollies are in, in your garden, and as soon as... Yes. When it's being predated or you know or cut, it will just keep producing prickles. But it can't photosynthesize very efficiently. So as soon as it doesn't need its prickles to protect it, it will go round leafed. So actually mm. hollies aren't prickly at all, they're just prickly when they need to be. So if you look up, yeah. it's it's all round leafed. Yeah. But you don't tend to see it on, on no. younger or, or no. garden plants. Do you know how old that tree might be? It's a few hundred years old, so it's all hollowed out. And um so like really old ancient trees, oh, yes. they feed um, and that's what it was like the whole way. Very friendly. Yeah. He's funny as well. He undoes zips and things, don't you, Dan? There you go. Can you say something? Mr. Hudson. Oh, they smell so nice, horses. What are you doing? What's that there? What are you doing? <laughs> but I would rather be here, not earning an awful lot of money, but I'm living somewhere where people save up all year to come to stay. Yeah. Um, and, and I...
So we just came back from our Hertwig experience and we have no words. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh my goodness. Overwhelming. Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe McGrath, who does the who does the tour. Yeah. You could really sense that she loves the sheep. Yes. She loves what she's doing. Oh yeah. And she does an amazing job. Yeah. And it was it's so hard to describe because we never came that close to sheep, especially Herdwick sheep that we yeah. really love. And we can only recommend if you come to this area, do it. Yeah. This is not just for children. You will love this. They are like, I mean, those sheep are very special because they are fond of, of people. Regular sheep are scared, I would say. Yeah. But these ones are, it was amazing. They, yeah. they were like pets and so cuddly. No, and it makes you understand a lot about farming, about sheep farming, and it's, yeah, it was great. Yeah, you learn a lot. Joe gives you a lot of background about the animals, about this area, and then, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And what we want to do now is we want to take a photo of you tree farm and uh, just go across the street because we think that might be the best spot for taking the photo. And just a little information, you can actually book Yewtree Farm as a self-catering accommodation. And then stay in this beautiful house, which is one of the most photographed houses. And if you come to this place and want to book this Hertwig experience, we will put the link down below in the info box for you to check out. And yeah, we are so happy that we did it. Best decision to, yeah, I, I don't know, I just, I looked it up on the internet and saw that you can book a Hertwig experience and thought, that is so right up our alley. And, and I just wanted to let you know so that there's not any misunderstanding. This is not sponsored. We just found out ourselves and thought we had to do it. And yeah, we can just share our experience and how much we love this. We're also, we're going home with fresh you true farmers. Yes. Yeah. These two yes. were just laid Yes. as we were at the farm. Yeah. So when we got them, they were warm. Yes. I bet they they are amazing. They're still warm. Really? We also wanted to show you that should you book the Herwig experience, you get this box and there are some goodies in it. Like, yes, this is a discount booklet, beautiful cards and Jo is actually, she's an artist and she did these portraits and uh, yeah, they are really nice lovely and she also she recommended this lady uh oh, i don't know the name i have to find out and we'll let you know in the info box there is a lady who makes herdwig wool bags and they are amazing she had a bag there and i think it's really worth checking out as well so 
that's in the box as well. So we are in Coniston now and we want to go to a cafe to have a tea and a bite to eat. And we're going to the Herdwigs cafe now. How lovely is this? Dogs are very welcome. Please ask for a free biscuit or bed for them. We both fancy a couple. So we both ordered jack of potatoes. Jörg is a jack of potato with beans, and I've got jack of potato with tuna and sweet corn. Yeah. Enjoy. So this is Tarn House, and although it's currently raining, it's beautiful. And Joe told us we have to come here, that it would be like not visiting the Lake District if we wouldn't see this place. And it's outstanding, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Really peaceful. Yeah. What we forgot to mention about Yew Tree Farm, it's a working farm and they have a thousand sheep there. Yeah, so it's not just a kind of small zoo. No, no, on the contrary. Yeah. This is just like that you can book the Hurtwig experience and just a handful of sheep basically are, are really fond of people yeah. and the other sheep are, it's, well it's a working farm. Yeah, because they have to live up the farm. Of course, yeah. So this feels totally different than the Lake District we know, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, it does. Because usually every everyone, well, of course, thinks of the lakes and the fells. And this is so different, yet absolutely stunning. It's really worth coming here. And even in the rain, I think it makes it very special. Because I think now, because you you get these autumnal colours... So this was our last day in the Lake District. And it was a very special day. Yes, it was a wonderful weekend. We made so many memories and I I don't know I had to laugh so much when I met the sheep because I was so happy it was such a happy day I I, I can't put it in other words I don't know yeah it was just I have to thank you for sharing this day with me no, it was a wonderful day. It was absolutely it was a wonderful. wonderful weekend. Yes. Oh, we were so lucky with the weather as yes. well. And we just hope you like the video and the previous videos as well. And let us know what you think. It's always nice to read your comments. And thanks so much for watching. Yeah. So until next time. Yeah. Stay safe. Stay safe. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye.